It's pretty well known here on campus because of the great benefits that they actually do provide. You just need to sign up and you can get groceries once a week and snacks once a day. It really is a collective community that provides extended support for students. I learned about the Finbar Chase Thrive Center through the federal work study program. That's how I came to work here. I'm a single mom and he's 17 and eats a lot. So coming to get groceries once a week is a big help. The Fangbar Chase Thrive Center is our basic needs resource center, but also our basic rights center as well, where we offer food, housing, hygiene assistance. We also offer a support for students to advocate for themselves, like maybe they're housing insecure, we can help them. We also advocate for a just environment so that where students can have fundamental rights. It's called the Thrive Center because we want students to not just survive, but thrive in their personal, academic, professional, and career goals. Students are not successful unless they have the basic needs. So the Thrive Center is really a place for students to go receive food, care, uh, transportation needs, assistance with living. Some other services that we do offer as well is our diaper program where students can receive 75 diapers monthly, as well as our hygiene tote slash kit program where students that are housing insecure or unhoused, they can receive those hygiene products because they're facing those insecurities. I did sign up with the low cost auto insurance for my son. It saved me about $180 a month on car insurance. They have a career closet. The community came together from our faculty, staff, administrators, and even some of our board of trustees who donated professional gear for our students to go out on job interviews. And I've even seen our director, John Nguyen, teach students how to put on a tie so that they could feel prepared for that next job interview. We have our annual CalFresh Fest. It's our outreach event that offers students educational awareness of public benefits. Because of these events, I was actually part of another program called the Ambassador Program. So those events have actually expanded my resources where I'm now able to help other students here on campus. It helped me become comfortable with talking to people, other students on campus. This is my first time in college, so it's all new, but now I'm also gonna be an ambassador. Here at the Famar Chase Thrive Center, we're here to help you. Don't be scared to reach out and talk to somebody because you never know what resources you may be eligible for and, and the kind of help that you get. I know it's difficult to ask for help, but I would say that's that first step so we can be that support system for you throughout your time here at SAC. It's okay to be hesitant in reaching out for help. Just know that we're always going to be here, regardless of what situation you find yourself in. And we're here to help you. These are individuals who have a heart for this community, who have a heart for our students. And as our director, John Nguyen said, it's your basic right. So I want students to know, come to the Thrive Center, it's here for you.